Yo, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to disconnect your Spotify audio from your Twitch VODs in Streamlabs OBS. And it's a lot easier than a lot of the tutorials on YouTube make it out to be. So just stick with me. I'm going to make this as fast as possible and we'll get you going. Alright, so to do this, all you're going to need is Voice Meter Banana. It's the free version and it'll do everything you need it to do nice and easy. I know it looks complicated, but just stick with me. I'll show you, it's, it's quite simple. So you're just gonna go ahead and download it and come back to me when you're done. So before we do anything, before you install Voice Meter Banana, once you restart your computer, like it asks you to do, you're not going to have any audio because you need to go into Voice Meter and you need to go on A1, which is going to be your out. Uh, so for you, you're going to want to go in and whatever your output is, whether it's speakers or headphones, whatever, you're going to want to choose the WDM version. For me, it's this is my headset, WDM speakers. So that means my output is right here. Easy. So once you get voice meter installed, it's going to ask you to restart your computer. So you're going to have to go ahead and do that. And then once you come into voice meter, there's going to be a lot of things to look at, but we're not worried about anything except for these two virtual inputs right here. These are the only things that matter, as well as this little section right here, A1, A2, and A3. And odds are you're only going to need A1. One quick thing I forgot to mention is that you need to come to your menu here, and you need to make sure that you select Run on Windows Startup, because if you don't, then I, I don't know what happens. It'll be scuffed. Just, just do that. Just do that. It's easy. In Voice Meter, there's the virtual input VAIO and there's the virtual input of AUX. So what I've done is I have all of my audio except for my Spotify. You could use whatever program you wanted, wherever your music is. Uh, you could put anything to the AUX. I use Spotify. And all my other audio, game audio, Discord, just about anything else on my computer goes to the VAIO. And that's where you're going to separate the two. So first things first, you're going to want to go to your settings down here, go to sounds, and then you're going to come to playback here. And you're gonna to wanna to scroll to the bottom and you should see voice meter aux and voice meter input. So this one here, the input is the VAIO as you can see. So you're gonna to wanna to set that as your default device, uh, which you should just be able to click on that, click on set as default, simple. Uh, so the aux one, like I said, is just gonna be for your music. So we're not gonna to touch that just yet. So next up, you're going to want to go to your search bar and you're going to want to type in app volume and that will bring you to the sound mixer options. And as you can see, our default output device here is the VAIO of voice meter. So you're going to want to scroll down, find your music app. For me, it's Spotify. And you're going to change it from the default over to voice meter aux. And that is the most important step. If you do that wrong, it just won't work. So make sure that it says aux and not VAIO. So the next step here is going to be making sure that these two are both selected for A1, meaning that they're both going to go to your headset or your speakers, whatever. And these two, these are your outputs, I believe. You're gonna wanna have B1 checked for all of your audio and B2 for your aux. Works for me, let's just go with it. Now that we've made it to this step, we can test to see if we've done everything right. So I'm going to play some music here and you won't hear it because I've done everything right, but you will see it show up in our aux section here. So if I start this song, I'm jamming out as we do, but as you can see, it's showing up here in the aux, but you can't hear anything right now because I have my recordings set the same way as I do with my Twitch VODs. And this is proof that it works. And if you see your music here, you're doing everything right and we can keep going forward. We're in the final stages here. There's only a couple things left to do and then everything should work. So you're gonna have to go open up your settings in Streamlabs and you're gonna wanna go to output. So by default, I believe Twitch VOD is unselected. So you're going to want to turn on Twitch VOD and make your Twitch VOD track six. You could make it anything, I think, but go with six because it works. So once you make that six, if you also wanted to make your recordings the same way as your Twitch VOD, simple enough, just click on the recording tab and right here, audio track six, same thing, just with recordings. So next up, 
we have to go to our settings and you go to audio. So you're going to want to make your default audio device, your VAIO from voice meter. So with that, your Spotify or whatever will be excluded from your soundtrack when you go to stream, record, whatever. All right, so you're gonna have to go ahead and come to your sources here, add a new source and add an audio output capture. So we already have Spotify here and this is what mine is called. So I'm going to add this source. And all that you do for this source is you go, you choose your device and you wanna make sure that you choose your device as aux because as we were so specific with earlier, we had to make sure that our music went to our aux and not our VAIO because that way we can exclude the music. So we select aux, perfect, it's done. And now if I go ahead and play some music here, you will see on its own separate track, Spotify is down here. It is isolated from our desktop audio and our game audio and our Discord audio. So we can simply exclude that from the VOD with this next step and you'll be right as rain. So all that's left to do now is we come to our mixer here, open in your advanced settings right above your mixer. And you're going to see on the right side, it shows all these tracks. So here's your desktop audio, here's your mic and here's our Spotify. So because we chose that our Twitch VOD track was six, we just have to make sure that our Spotify is not saved on six. It's really that simple. It took all those steps to get here, but so long as six is not selected, there will be no music saved on our VODs or the recordings if you follow those steps. And it's, that's it. There's, there's no more music in your VODs. So you could listen to, I mean, we all know what we can and can't listen to, but whatever you listen to, it won't be saved. It's just that simple. A small bonus tip for you is if you have a stream deck or even if you don't, if you wanted to, let's say, talk to your chat, you're in a just chatting scene or whatever, you can actually mute your game audio. So for me, I have my stream deck button here bound. So I can mute my game audio and my discord. Everything except for my music is run to this right here. And I can still have music playing in the background. If I wanted to mute my friends, and still be able to listen to songs and not hear the game audio, whatever's going on. Let's say it's a hectic game. Everything is quiet except for your voice and your music. So it's really handy if you wanna just kick back and catch up on chat and all those type of things. All right guys, so that's everything. I hope this helps. If it did, feel free to leave me a like or a comment if you'd like to see more of these type of things. I can certainly see if there's anything I can find to help you with. I also stream five days a week on Twitch. I'll leave the link down below, you know, just in case you want to stop by and listen to my music in my streams or catch the VODs without music. I mean, it's there if you want. <laughs> Thanks, guys.